hi guys how are you and today i created this realistic smoke and very quickly just using a single material and if you like this tutorial and you learn something new give me a favor just subscribe my youtube channel hit like share and comment and also you can go to my channel click on this and then support here if you want to contribute and if you want any of my files go to the fab sailor cg how there are lots of files and packages and also on my patreon there are lots of files so you can just buy and download so let's start this tutorial so let's start this so first we will make a material so i'll just make m smoke and if you don't have any smoke texture or sub uv you can just use a noise texture if you have so if i'll search a noise texture and noise. so these are the basic noise that everybody everybody has it's simple from the photoshop simple noise but not this one this is real but i guess let me yeah so this is very common and everybody can make easily so in the photoshop in the render it's just a cloud pattern so i'll use this one okay and still if you don't have it, this one you can just use the noise node okay also so basically i'll use transplant and default lead to side it and if i connect this here this is how it looks and if you want to pan you can pan it on one direction or other or maybe you can invert okay like it's going up okay so let's make this real time and you can just copy and paste and make this one maybe going this direction and then add these together but it's just two direction but if you want like random direction there's a way out for that you just search here chaos and this node normal from the height map chaos open this and this is actually function so copy this thing motion for ways chaos copy this go back and just paste this here delete this one you just need this then you don't need pan actually then make your texture a object connect this to the texture and if you preview your texture will pan in multiple direction see and looks really fluidy kind of thing cool the next thing you need is need a radial and if i just multiply it with the radial or if i just connect the radial into the opacity it will cut in a round shape this but still this is very round i want to make it a little distorted so what i can do is i can actually let's duplicate this and in this one i'll just increase the tiling maybe i'll just make it bigger and then i will use this to distort this radial so if i preview the radial and you can add this into the uvs but that will be not look good so if i connect this here and this here actually you have to mask take the mask because it has some multiple channels if i take the red channel it will distort it completely although you can control it by multiplying it but it will go diagonal if you take one direction it still this will look different but what you can do to make it really cool instead of using in uvs in the radial there is a radius thing okay so default is 0.5 then you can decrease it like 0.3 or maybe 0.2 so basically if you use this noise and take a lerp and connect this here and if i put 0 0.5 0 0.5 in both nothing will change because black color also making the radius 0 0.5 and white color also making the radius 0 0.5 but now you can tweak it a little bit and see from the all direction it is distorted and i can yeah make this maybe eight so it has more random pattern i guess maybe one let me check if one is not so sometime it will just cut through the edge so to avoid that take one more radial and without distorting this just multiply it together and now everything is safe on the edge 
one more thing this is very fast moving so i'll just make the speed of this one maybe 0.2 i don't need that much uh, or maybe just 0.5 and in this one also i'll make the speed maybe 0.5 and now this thing will go into the opacity and i think it will look good so we have a noise in base color and we have this radial which is distorted in the opacity cool i'll just take the particle color and just multiply it and connect this here and also It apply now i'll just make a new niagara and i'll call it ns smoke open this make some space not that much and i'll take the fountain okay so first let's give a cool behavior then we will use that material so for that gravity i'll just turn it off for now and just all going up then what i can do instead of i'll just increase decrease this and it's going too fast i'll increase the drag maybe a little bit it has now like this and then i want actually this going diagonal so what i'll use i'll use wing and on the x axis if i want to it's already going on the x we can increase it like this and velocity maybe six and red i don't want to use much and then you can add some turbulence so this is the turbulence radius a scale and this is frequency so if i increase it too much you can see how it's working and this is frequency you can increase or decrease it and i'll decrease the scale yeah cool now it has some randomness and i think not that much yeah now looks better and i'll decrease the velocity even more maybe 400 200 or maybe 300 300 320 cool it looks looks cool now i'll use this material and i'll just connect this here and make the size of sprite i don't want this maybe 60 and 40 let it compile so we can see maybe 120 and 80 will be fine and let's make the color little random actually shading i'll use maybe point point two and one and also i'll take the size like this so at like point three it will be one so initially is is zero okay and let's i'll just make it i'll just drag it here looks cool i think it's not bad it still is looking cool but you can add something if you want i think it's too fast let me just increase the drag and in the wind this offset Time I will reduce and also this and this, this. It's it's like a, from the train. And yeah, you can increase the alpha also if you want. Like if I make five and five just to show you. It will be very hard smoke okay and if you don't want that much of randomness or in the detail here what you can do this is making it black and white 
uh, it's giving that details so you can just take a power and make a dynamic parameter and i'll just call it so basically if i re review this if this is one this will be same if i make it two there will be more black in it because it's kind of erod er eroding it if i make it like 0.2 it will be almost like a white so i'll just call it like power for now and just hit save and now here you can see this is completely white and that randomness uh, you can reduce from here the color randomness and then if i take the dynamic parameter and let's not use a uh, uh, dynamic parameter first but if you make this gray and make it like 0 0.6 it's like a flat but still look cool and now i'll slightly increase it to add details of smoke cool and you can one more thing you can do you can just copy and paste this one and like in this one what i'll do i'll increase this and make this also white and i'll decrease the size maybe and i'll just make this one so it will be over that and maybe alpha one and one you can also play like this so and of course spawn rate i'll decrease maybe 20. so it will give you some variation in it if you want so you can add like this but i think you don't need that it's looking cool and if you add a light here like see and you can of course change the color and it will work fine although you can use a normal map if you want but like a round normal let me search if i have let me just search yeah so i have these normals so these kind of thing you can add so let's say if you have this and in the material i'll just take this here and just connect you need to connect it to normal and for that you need to use this thing or this thing so i'll just use this and in the normal i let's save this and check so i have saved it and now see the difference it has now more volume see and i guess we can add this thing maybe if i make it one again yeah looks better now it has details and i will not make it that much of dark maybe yeah now it has much more volume and also the no, uh, the opacity i'll just make it random so now this is it this is what you can make so i'll just put one here one here let's make this one yellow that one So this is what you can do. Let me just decrease the size of these lights. So it can just So you can basically lit your smoke and this looks cool so i hope you enjoyed it and you learned something new so that's it for now and thanks for watching keep learning bye bye